So I know everybody is super hyped up about the Mosin, but we can't forget about all the new foul attachments that were just added to the game. And using those attachments, we're going to be building the lowest possible recoil foul, which is 225 recoil. And it's also the closest representation in the game yet to a high caliber LMG. And yeah, you get a 50 round magazine for the M1A, but you can't go full auto. So in order to actually build this weapon, you are going to need to have a couple things. Number one, access to mechanic level four, because you're going to have to buy the 22 inch barrel. You're also going to need to get your hands on a Bitcoin. If you don't have a Bitcoin, that's for the 50 round magazine, which can be purchased on mechanic level three. And if you're taking a look at the mechanic and you can't quite find the drum mag, you have to specifically click on mechanic level three to get the gun to show up at the bottom. Otherwise it won't actually show itself. So you have to buy the magazine that's attached to the weapon. You can't currently get it as of September 20th, but I imagine down the road, they'll add some sort of barter option. But for right now, it's limited to that gun specifically. So you're gonna have to buy it. If you're struggling to get your hands on a Bitcoin, don't worry, listed in the description box below is a guide on how you can get rare treasure loot and Bitcoins on Shoreline relatively easily. I know there's lots of different locations on other maps, but Shoreline is the best way to get your hands on some coin. I also want to mention that this weapon trade is great value for the Bitcoin. It might be one of the best, if not the best value trades for a weapon Bitcoin in the game. And I really hope the developers don't change it. The OSW SA58 typically sells from Peacekeeper for a thousand USD, which is roughly equivalent to a hundred thousand rubles. So the value trade would be for 94,000 rubles, the weapon, the drum mag, the rail attachments, and a grip. All right, so let's build this thing. The first item we're gonna be buying is the buffer tube uh, SA adapter, which is available at level four mechanic. Then we're gonna be going up and purchasing the Vitor CASV foul handguard, which is the best recoil reduction handguard in the game. Then we are gonna be going over and buying the, uh, well, a couple of 30 round magazines because you only get 150, so you need a couple of backups. Then we're gonna be going and buying the long 21 inch SA58 barrel. You need that. And we're gonna be picking up a DS Arms Austrian style compensator, which is going to be the best in class recoil reduction. You can put a suppressor on there, but you know, it's, it's not as good as a compensator in terms of pure recoil reduction. Now you can change the pistol grip, whatever you want, but that's just going to change the ergonomic value of the weapon itself. Uh, now we're going to be heading over to Peacekeeper and we're going to be picking up an uh, ANPEQ laser. You can use a laser, you don't have to, but I personally prefer to have one or an LS321 actually uh, as clipped in this video. For the optic, we're going to be using the XPS3 holoscope. I think the holoscope or red dots work best for this build because... Um, well, I find the 4Xs with the recoil, if you're going to be using this in full auto, it's going to be pretty rough to control. And I just like the feel of having a hollow scope on this weapon because it really does feel like you're using an LMG. So it kind of, you know, reminisces the saw, I guess, a little bit. Now, when you purchase the weapon, you're going to be getting an RVG Black foregrip. Now, that comes pre applied to the weapon, and it is best in class recoil control for the foul. Maybe not best in ergonomics, you can go with the SE5, which is available from Mechanic, but if you're just going for pure recoil, it doesn't really matter, so you can use that grip. Uh, we're gonna be buying the PRS Gen 2 buttstock, and don't forget the Colt buffer tube, and you can apply that to the backside of your foul. And uh, once you've done that, you have the beautiful foul sitting in your inventory ready to rock. Now you can buy multiple fouls to get additional drum mags, but I personally just bring in 150 and a bunch of 30s. You can build a variation of this weapon without the 50 round drum mag and just use the 30s. It's completely okay, but with a 50, it's just something special. 
Now we're going to be starting things off with the 30 round magazines because on the very first day of the patch I was actually unaware that the 50 round mags were even in the game because it was kind of hidden under mechanic level 3. We're also using an Alcan 1x4x and that optic receives some changes as well. It no longer pulls closer to your screen. The iron sight actually does instead of the optic which is really interesting. So I probably will not be using the Alcan as much as I have in the past. But either way, let's dive into some of the action. Oh, he's up on the hill. I know where he kind of is. Okay, let's jump it. Whoa, this is zoomed in all the hell. Holy shit. Hey, you Eat chocolate. Right. Yeah, I got a fracture. I have a fracture. I actually do. That's awesome. But it sucks, but it's awesome. This is a different round, but using the drum mag. Trying to listen for some footsteps here. Okay. They must have uh, pushed off the spawn then, all of them. Or they're on the other side of the map. Holy fuck. Dude had Ford on.
shit. Gotta get that value, you know. Hold tight. The hell is this? Dude, this foul has less recoil. Shotgun almost got me. It's a Saiga. I think it's a 10 round Saiga. <sighs> I thought we were fucking dead there, guys. Yep. Unfortunately, guys, because of Twitch's end, I'm not able to upload some really great fights using this weapon setup that I had today. The VOD is unable to be downloaded, and the footage of my hard drive wasn't recorded, so I'm pretty bummed out about that. If I can get Twitch to allow me to download the VOD, expect a part two coming very soon, or I'll probably just use this weapon myself. Uh, over the next couple days to try to pick up some more clips. But let me know what you guys have to say about this weapon in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys are going to like it. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Escape from Tarkov.